Hey everybody, I'm Nathaniel Dodson from tutvid.com. We're going to talk about a little Premiere Pro today, specifically five different timing and speed change effects you can do here in Premiere. We've all seen those like travel video blogs, even some Casey Neistat stuff where the video kind of like stutters, jumps and reverses and, and kind of moves and shimmies with the beat of the music. It's pretty cool. It looks pretty neat. We're going to cover five different ways that you can create kind of similar effects, uh, but of course use your own creativity and your own unique bing touch to just add that special something to your videos. Uh, but these are the techniques here, or these are some of the techniques that I think will really get you started. And here's a video that shows some of those techniques. So yeah, those are the effects. Pretty cool. Uh, if you think you're going to enjoy this tutorial, well, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can see even more Premiere Pro tutorials. And if you really enjoy the video, well, consider supporting the channel and pick up a copy of my Photoshop course. I know, guys, it's a Photoshop course and not a Premiere Pro course. There'll be a Premiere Pro course at some point soon. Uh, but for now, I have a Photoshop course all about how to retouch images in Photoshop. There's a link right up there. It's a little I icon with a you know, letter I in it. Click on that. Pick up a copy of that course. Uh, I would super appreciate it. Thank you so much if you do go do that. Oh, by the way, there's a link in the bio as well. You can go pick that up. Uh, so without further, well, with a little further ado, actually, follow me on Instagram. Uh, I'm at Tutvid, at T-U-T-V-I-D. I post all kinds of stuff over there. I think you might like it. So now, actually, without any further ado, let's jump into Adobe Premiere Pro and get this thing started. So here we go. I'm going to drag the, uh, the little playhead back to zero. I'm going to select my music track and I'm going to hit the comma button, which is going to insert the music track and just push anything that would be on the timeline down the timeline. The music track's a little bit too long, so I'll pull it back here. It's just a little, uh, a little absurdly long. You know what? In fact, I'm going to zoom out a little bit here and we're going to just compress this back to about, I don't know, 35 seconds or so. And I'm also going to mute the music track because I'm recording my, uh, my speakers on my computer and it comes through really, really loudly on the recording. And I just didn't bother to change it before I began recording. Uh, so we'll just kind of play this sparingly as we're testing it. I'm also going to drag out my video clip. So here we go. We've got this drone shot over this highway. It looks really cool. And we are going to perform those speed changes like you saw there at the beginning. And the first of these effects is called time remapping. Now you get to time remapping. By the way, you use time remapping basically to either speed up or slow down your clip. You get to time remapping by right clicking on this little FX icon and choosing, well, time remapping and then speed. And you can see the little preview goes away and we get this uh, this little bit of a line here. Now, what I the, the idea is going to be the video is going to travel really, really fast until we get to this first beat in the music. And when the first beat hits, the, mu uh, the video is going to slow down to normal speed. So we'll come way out here, something like this, and I'm going to command or control click on that line to add a, uh, a point here. And what I can do is grab the line before that point. And if I pull it up, we speed the video up. If I pull it down, we actually lengthen the video and we're slowing it down to see 35% of its original speed. But we want to pull this back and we want to do this until we are like right there above where the beat is going to change. You can see the video before the beat changes is going to be going 226%, so a little over two times faster than normal. I let go, and we can see, there we go. The video now is going to go really fast, and as soon as the music hits, boom, it slows down. So we, we can actually preview that here. Let me unmute the track. So pretty cool. Works well. I'll mute the track again so we can work kind of normally. All right, so that's the first technique is time remapping. It's really cool. You could go out here on the end and you could just pull down and you could really slow the video down. You can see the video actually gets longer because, well, you're just lengthening and spreading the video out. Uh, it's not the best way to create slow motion, but, you know, it's just something you can do. You can go in there and play around with time remapping. It can be a lot of fun. And you can uh, select and drag the little uh, markers, by the way, to sort of fade the effects together and make it fade from, let's say, going 200% faster back to 100 uh, with some level of control there. I want it to be a very sudden change, so I'm leaving it as it is. So next up at number two, we're going to talk about the reverse stutter effect. Uh, so what we're going to do here is move the playhead to where we basically want the stutter effect to take place. So I think I'm going to drag the playhead over to like right here. I think I want this stutter to happen uh, right when this bit of music hits. So I will grab the razor tool right here and I will just let Premiere save itself and I'll zip the file or the zip the clip right there. Hold down shift and tap the left arrow key like one, two times maybe and we will zip the clip right there as well. So we get this nice uh, just trimmed piece of video. Now I can take my selection tool which is right there and I can select this whole long piece of video left over and just delete that. 
In fact, I'll delete this bit out here as well. We'll, we'll bring all that back in just a second. I'll show you how. But we want to duplicate this little clip twice. So I'm going to hold down my Alter Option key and just drag out a copy. Hold on Alter Option, drag out a copy. Great. Now with this last piece of video, we can just drag that out and that's going to be our video all brought back into place. Cool. All I need to do now is select this middle piece, right click, choose speed duration, and I just choose to reverse this speed. So it's gonna hit this point where the beat is gonna hit and the video is gonna reverse and then continue on as if nothing even happened. So let's check it out. I'm gonna unmute the audio track and let's, uh, let's have a listen. So you can see just a little kind of reverse. It's pretty smooth. You can make it as herky-jerky, as long or as short as you like. Uh, I just put it in, you know, the way that I did. Uh, but you can certainly do whatever you like. I'm going to mute this audio track once more. And we're going to move along to number three. Now, number three is the high-speed stutter effect. So what we're going to do is we're actually just going to delete these three clips. I'm going to delete them. I'm going to drag out the original video clip just to bring all that back. And once more here, I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to place the playhead right where I want the sort of high speed reverse to happen. And I think I'm going to make it happen out here on this beat here, just to give us a little bit more space to play with, because we don't really want to cut and get involved with our time remapped area. So I'll select that there. I'll grab my razor tool and I'll just uh, zip that video clip right there. I'll hold down shift and uh, nudge my left arrow key. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, maybe something like that. And I'll zip it right there as well. I'm going to zoom out just a touch here. I'm going to grab my selection tool right over here and I can delete the leftover piece of video. So just select that, delete it. Now I can grab this video clip. I need to duplicate this twice. So I'm going to hold down Alter Option, drag it out. There we go. Hold on Alter Option, drag it out. All right, now I'm just going to drag these clips together uh, just to you know make sure they all line up exactly and perfectly. Next, what I'm going to do is grab the Rate Stretch tool. We already touched on it earlier. And I'm just going to change the speed of the center clip. So I really want to compress it way down. I mean, honestly, the closer you can get it to like 500%. Now this is probably only like 300% of the original speed. I'll be able to tell you in a second here when we right click and choose speed duration. Uh, oh no, look at that. That's actually, wow, right on the dot. That, that was not planned. I can I can uh, assure you of that. Let me cancel that. Let's right click, choose speed duration. You actually want to get it as close to 500 as possible. And I nailed it exactly on 500. I don't think I've ever done that in the entire time I've ever used Premiere Pro. Uh, but the important thing here is not that happenstance, but rather the reverse speed option. So we're going to choose reverse speed, hit OK, and drag the uh, continuing drone shot out. And then we can just extend the remainder of the video out the back end of that clip. So let's just listen through this real quick here. Once more. You can just see how it, it hits that particular beat in the music and it just like speeds up in reverse and then continues on as if nothing had ever happened. So it's kind of a cool high speed reverse effect. All right, let's move along to the fourth effect here. And this is the duplicated cut stutter effect where we have multiple cuts that sort of make the video look like it's stuttering a little bit. So I'm going to move over here. Let's, let's begin here with this beat in the music. Let's say we want this to be the first sort of stutter effect that happens. Let's go ahead and grab our razor tool here. So I'm going to grab that. I'm going to zip the clip right there. And then I'm going to move the playhead back maybe to like just before the last uh, peak hit because it looks like there's a little bit more time in between those peaks than these peaks here, which are the ones that I want to kind of land on time. And I'm going to clip the video right there. Great. Now I can select the long bit of video left over and once more delete it. Now I'm going to duplicate this. Hold down Alter Option. Drag it out. And we can see it's going to have to be adjusted a little bit. Let's drag it out again and again and probably one more time. And what we'll do is just drag the rest of this video out. But what needs to happen is, whoops, I don't wanna, I don't wanna do that. I wanna zoom in a little bit here. We need these bits to align, but the problem is we can't remove frames. So we can't just come in here and just say, all right, we'll drag that back one frame because then when the stutter happens, it's never gonna line up properly. What you need to do is use the rate stretch tool, which we've used a couple times now, rate stretch, and just nudge it back just a little bit, just by compressing it, just the, the, the slightest of bits, and then drag the next clip back into place and see, yeah, this one needs to be adjusted as well. So we'll drag this one back just a touch and we'll grab the last clip here and we will use rate stretch once more and we'll just bump this one back just a little bit maybe something like that and then we'll grab the original clip and move it into place so this can just finish playing and uh, do as it does and uh, here let's just unmute the audio track and check to see what we've done here so unmute <laughs> 
Now, I don't know if you noticed there was like some green fuzz that appeared in the sky up there. Uh, don't worry if that happens. That's just because the video hasn't rendered. If we were to set an in and out point and render that, all that goes away. So no worries when it comes to that. But that's the duplicated cut stutter. It's pretty simple. Uh, you just go in basically and literally duplicate the video over and over and over. And just, you know, as long as it's stuttering along with the music, it, it looks pretty perfect. It's kind of a cool, it really makes you feel like the, uh, the music has taken over the video a little bit. And it's a cool effect. All right, so the last effect is slowing the footage down. Down. So let's say we hit a part in the, the video where we want to slow the footage down. Now, just quick disclaimer, you can slow footage down like 24 or 30 frames per second footage. You can slow it down, but it's never going to be as good as if you just shoot it in 60 frames per second, 96 frames per second, 120, 120 frames per second, 240 frames per second, you know, and so on and so on and so on and so on. Uh, but there are some tools here in Premiere Pro that make it a little bit more palatable if we have to slow video down uh, when we haven't shot it in let's say 60 frames per second or greater. So I'm gonna unmute this and let's just listen to this music track and see if we can find an area where maybe it opens up a little bit where we could just slow the video down and see what we get. So right there, right where that drop happens, where you hear like the snare of the drum and then the music drops, I think it would be cool if it kind of dropped into slow motion. So let's grab our razor tool here. We'll clip it right there. And then we'll clip the clip, uh, we'll clip, yeah, we'll zip the clip like out here or somewhere. And then I'm gonna move the clip down the timeline down here just to get it out of the way. I'm gonna select this clip, right click on it, and I'm gonna choose speed duration. And here's where the magic happens. You, uh, like we can set this to like, I don't know, we'll go like 150, I'm sorry, not 150%, we'll go like 65%. So we're gonna slow it down uh, to about 65% of the original speed. Now down here we have this option, time interpolation. The default is frame sampling. We're looking for an option called optical flow. It just helps blend the frames better, and you can kind of cheat and fudge. It still doesn't look as buttery, beautifully smooth as you know a higher frame rate camera, but it also doesn't look like a choppy, cheap time lapse, you know, GIF file from the days of old. I'm gonna go ahead and hit OK. It's gonna stretch the clip out, and then I'm gonna drag my other video back into place, and I will just uh, well, we have the audio track unmuted. We can just check to see if we can even notice the speed change. Lightning strikes by my window. So I'm going to stop it because it looks a little jittery, but it also has some junk happening in the sky. So I'm going to hit the letter I before the slow-mo even starts and then hit the letter O over here to set an in and an out point. I'll come up here to sequence and choose to render in to out to really just make sure this effect is, you know, fully uh, at our disposal and we can really see it. So Premiere is going to do its thing and render these 276 frames real quick. And now we're back and uh, I'm going to make sure I set this to full. So I'm viewing the full like resolution, full quality version of the video there. And I can get rid of my in and out points just simply by using the hotkey option X. That's alt X on the PC. And let's try playing this once more. Lightning strikes by my window. It's my chest right in the morning. So by no means is the slow-mo perfect, but it's, I mean, it can almost pass as like a professional job, uh, but obviously really you, you, you really want to shoot at a higher frame rate. And typically I'm not going to stretch 24 or 30 frames per second uh, clips much more. I, I try to take a much lower than like 65, 70% of the original speed. If you want decent results, you can really push it back as far as like 45, 50%. I've noticed that like 65, 70% is really where you get kind of the usable slowed down footage. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Five different ways to play with timing uh, and stuttery uh, reverse and speed change effects here in Premiere Pro. I really hope you enjoyed it. I know we, we kind of spent some time on it, but that's good, right? We get in, we dive in and really check out and learn how this stuff works here in Premiere Pro. I hope you loved it. Hope you enjoyed it for five different speed and timing changes and even making the video move along with the music. Guys, that's it. Get it, got it, good. Nathaniel Dodds and tutvid.com. I'll catch you in the next one. And before you go, make sure you subscribe to my channel for more great tutorials every day. Also, buy my course. It helps us do what we do. And this channel is supported by viewers just like you. You can also just click the thumbnail and watch another video from this channel. See you next time, guys.